Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I still have this in my head. I just ended the vlog and I was telling you guys that I put this craft stones on my head because my kids left it on the table. But anyway, you guys, how are you guys doing? I'm hoping I can start the daily vlog again. But um, I don't know. I don't want to make promises. But I think I'm in a bit of better shape to like start the vlog again. We'll see. We'll see. Because... I keep saying that but it never happens but we'll see how it goes because it's something that I really want to like do and I love doing it a lot of things that I have not picked up the camera that has passed through and without documenting you know I don't document every part of my life but sometimes I just want to pick up the camera and share with you guys what I'm doing with my kids what I'm doing in my daily life da -da -da. But anyway you guys we'll see if I'm gonna be vlogging back to like daily vlog now um but how are you guys doing i miss you guys so much i'm starting to look like an old woman oh, you guys <laughs> i'm looking at myself you guys look at what i have in my lips this is ishino I, what is ishino called yeah. busted <laughs> lip busted i don't know busted lips Busted. i don't think that's what it's called it's gonna bust but there's a name for it blister blister sorry blister i just say but i had i have a blister on my lips and I, i've been putting balm i have a treatment for eight before because i usually get them around winter or when i sick or when i'm kind of down um so for the past couple days now i have been down and i'm not gonna talk about that yet because i don't feel comfortable talking about that yet but um you know we lost a somebody in our family and my husband's family and it really affected us deeply i know some of you guys know by now but i just because it affected me so much and i don't want to like talk about it but there's no way we are vlogging that we're not going to branch but we're not going to like branch there at all so anyway i have doctor's appointment today and this appointment is the what is it called i don't know it's called something so i'm gonna go do that appointment first i need to go see my doctor i haven't changed my doctor my doctor is still in toronto i was gonna train my doctor but the fact that my doctor has been with me for like 17 years of my life and i just don't want to like let her go because she's like my family doctor from from that from beginning so and it's so hard to find a family doctor to get used to so we still travel from Whitby to, to Toronto to go see her and even she doesn't want to let us let us go and the same family doctor see my husband see everyone so I'm so so happy that I still have her in my life but I haven't make a plan if let's say I'm in labor now and I have to go to labor in Whitby I don't know how that I still have to like think and make a good plan for the hospital I want to have with my baby like I can have I can have my baby in Toronto but if anything happened will I be driving from Toronto to from Whitby to Toronto when I'm in serious labor <laughs> so I still have to like pause and make um, like a good decision on that which I don't know you guys advise me what should I do should I just I cannot transfer my doctor should I just what should I do you guys let me know because I don't want that time to come and I don't know what to do labor is still not around the corner but you know I still have to plan ahead what do you guys think I should do my doctor is all the way in Toronto would be to Toronto is 45 minutes drive if anything happened should I just look for a doctor here or hospital I don't know I don't know I'm just confused please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what do you guys what you guys think um, I'm watching some relook people that relocated to another city on YouTube and how they do it but it's totally different because they moved people that I follow they move like there's a lady that I follow she moved from California to Texas which is like very far so of course she has to look for entire family doctor everything but my my situation is still is still uh, close and I was trying to look for a family doctor in Whitby you guys and pretty much there's no family doctor they're like no we're not taking any new patients no we're not taking any new patient and that even discouraged me that mm. 
and it have a fake book bar, I have a jet of book bar, and like I wasn't really looking for a family doctor. I just want to see and try my luck if I can come across somebody, um, uh, a doctor that I like. But either way, uh, I still have my current doctor, and I'm not even letting her go yet. But the only scary part is just when I'm giving birth, when I need to take my baby to the doctor for the first week, you know, all of that. So you guys, give me your advice and let me know. Um, I'm hungry. I haven't had breakfast and I need to start eating. To be honest, I need to start eating. Because I don't eat, like ever since I got the news that I got last week, my appetite has like diminished, like gone. Nothing tastes good. I don't have COVID, okay? <laughs> Nothing tastes good. I've been depressed. I've been crying. But mashallah, we came out of it. Um, mashallah. So, yeah. But I'll see you guys at my doctor's office. Hopefully, I can vlog a little bit. And I have two things today. I need to see my doctor and I need to go do a scan. So, two different appointments. So, we'll see. And love you guys so much. Look, look at what my shirt says. It's no bad vibes no bad vibes at all <laughs> so yeah i'll see you guys um i'll see you guys in toronto my husband is right here you guys next week i'll show you guys what my husband got me for valentine i don't want i don't feel like to show it yet but i'll show you guys the most adorable things my husband got me for valentine my husband is a spoiler because he knows you know I've been sad I've been down so no that's not why he got me something for Valentine but of course it's gonna get me something from Valentine but that actually shared me up more so yeah anyway love you guys and see you guys soon Go to my doctor's office now. I'm just waiting, and I'm gonna be seeing for another five, five minutes. Oh, because I already peed before I go here. Oh my goodness. We're open until five o'clock. I don't live here. Living would be. Oh, <laughs> so I have to. You need you need it to be full, or just a little bit. Uh, half full. Oh Lord. I can give you water. Yeah. yeah. I dream about she fufu I look so pregnant. Oh, no, mom fufu I don't dream about. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey guys, so I just finished. I like me. I would dream about it. What the hell would dream? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you guys, so we just finished. Well, I didn't. We didn't. We didn't just finished. Finished like 40 minutes ago. My appointment. It took a lot of blood out of me, like 11 bottles. What do they do with? pregnant woman's blood in this country somebody explained to me i need to speak one second are you please sorry i needed to speak hey pregnancy life somebody was saying why do africans africans women always make pregnancies so sound so hard like it's a sickness is this trust me the first trimester i'm sure the first trimester a lot of people go through a lot and I'm not here to judge whether African or any kind of like, you know, country. It is what you feel that it's showing outside. Don't say, oh, some African women, they just go crazy. They are grumpy when they're pregnant. I was grumpy. I'm not going to lie. I was really grumpy. I was tired. You know, I was super sick because that's exactly how I'm feeling. And I'm sure here um after sometimes after like first trimester second trimester or first trimester everything become easier and smooth but i i cannot judge other pregnant women by saying oh some african women or most african women get grumpy and that it is what some people feel really sick and it can be really you know disturbing so I was feeling like that. It's not like I don't want to enjoy the pregnancy. Of course, I'm happy that I'm pregnant. But 
after that first trimester you start feeling better and you start enjoying your pregnancy more the first trimester is very hard it's very complicated i didn't experience that with my two girls but this one i did experience it and i'm starting just a tiny bit of enjoying the pregnancy which is something that i've been you know looking forward to so um sorry what that's an old ass mm. so yeah Anyway, so when that person met, left the comment, I was just like, okay. It's like, Abby, stop complaining. Sounds Enjoy so, your... Sounds so much to me when you say you're enjoying your pregnancy. Is there anything to enjoy about being pregnant? Yeah, of course. You just have to cope with it. It's Your body is strange. Something is in there. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything to no, enjoy about No, I'm saying like the first trimester, mm -hmm. you're vomiting, you're sick. You're sick to your bones, like to your nails. I understand. I don't understand what you're trying to say. I'm just trying to commend the effort of women. Effort of women, yeah. yeah. When you are pregnant. Huh? Mm -hmm. It sounds so strange And I me. don't like when other women condemning other women that, oh, pregnancy should be enjoyable. Yeah, it should be. It should but be. the first trimester, we all know how it is. It, it, it hits some people differently. And I'm allowed to, like, to show how I'm feeling. I'm allowed to express how I'm feeling that, yes, I feel sick. Oh, pregnancy is not a sickness. Yes, it's not a sickness, but the way I am feeling, I'm having morning sickness. There's no any Even other that name. Person, that person that says maybe some African women, they make a big deal out of being pregnant. Mm -hmm. some, sometimes, as I think on my own, sometimes the wrong choice is only the only choice. Sometimes the wrong choice will be the only choice. The only choice, nothing yeah. left. It, it, not nothing left. You don't want to feel bad, but you feel bad. You don't want to feel weak, but you, you're weak. Mm -hmm. You're actually weak. Um, yeah. You don't want to just sit down one mm -hmm. side and feel like mm -hmm. not useful. You don't want mm -hmm. to feel like that, but that's the only option you have. Right. So that's, there's nothing like, you can do I about it. I spit every time. Um, vomiting is diminishing, like it's going away. But I spit all the time, and it's not like I want to spit, you know? If I'm not if I if I if I'm not pregnant, of course I'm not gonna speak. So it's part of pregnancy sickness. So when people come after you be like, it's not a sickness, it's, it should be enjoyable. Yes, it is enjoyable. That's how that's how I'm enjoying my pregnancy. I'm super sick. But anyway, um it's not a big deal, it's not a problem, but I just wanna like point it out that no matter what, we should just always encourage each other. We should just always, always encourage whether sickness, whether no sickness, whether you know, my second trimester, like I was saying, I really want to like style my bump when it starts showing more. I really want to like, you know, enjoy it then. <laughs> you know, when there's no more money sickness. And I feel like that's the time that you should enjoy your pregnancy. So, um, yeah, and I also feel like it should be raw and real. How you're feeling for people that are coming or people that had maybe like eight, ten years ago and they're getting pregnant again, what you should expect because when I was pregnant with Lila Malika, I was I didn't express I didn't experience anything like this. Anyway, too much talking. So we finished. It took blood, 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 blood. They drawn the blood. They drawn the blood. They drawn the blood. And I'm like, what are they gonna do? Why? why? I forgot how it was. This is how this drawn blood when you're pregnant. But um, you guys know I didn't eat anything this morning. I don't know if I mentioned. So we brunched at this Chinese restaurant. And mm, the smell oh. Ah, I like smell, yeah. Mm. Oh my god, I hope I can eat it. Mm. Oh my goodness, what was that? I was not expecting the smell. The smell just hit me like I feel a headache right here. It just changed everything for me just now. I hope I can eat it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't even smell it before I eat it. It's the bag, not the food. <laughs> yeah. It's the bag. You're just smelling the... <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, look at my blister. This is part of pregnancy too. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, we are heading home. Guess who is home, you guys? Yusra is home. She came to say hello to us. She's, we're going to meet her home. But we want to get ice cream. She asked yeah. us to get ice cream, so we have to get ice cream for her. I'm like... We eat ice cream on a cold minus like 30 degree minus 30 outside. Who eat ice cream? The spinsters. The what? The spinsters. The spinsters? Mm -hmm. You heard what my <laughs> husband said. 
so we are heading to North First. We're gonna get ice cream. And what time is it? Three Maybe or not three. Not all of them, but some, some of them. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we will see you guys at home. Peace again. Okay, so we came to North First. Yeah, let's take one more. Hello. Okay, so we came to North First to get a few groceries. We were, we're gonna buy just ice cream, but we are like we realized that we need groceries in the house, so we're just gonna do a few. Aye, I think we should go back to where the fruit is because we need to buy um, strawberries. So. Okay. Hmm, I like the smell of the strawberry. This is Malika's favorite food. Are you on John Manny Mumbera? You. Let's see back here. Uh, I always make sure I check the bottom of the strawberry. Okay, let's go. Something new. When you see this start from four, the number, don't buy it. Even from three, buy the one from nine. It says organic on it. The number nine start with organic. Oh, look at this. Cagbaya corn. I'm saying a lot of fries. Yeah, four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you help me take it? Yeah. It's Ali. I thought I was Ali, not Danny. No problem. That's Yisra going to pick Lila Malika up. You're going to see what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Yisra in white jacket right there. Oh, mommy, I want to get it. Oh, wait. Oh, Malika, it's really. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, many hours later, hey, can you pause it? Many hours later, I'm just in bed. I got tired at one time, one time or one point. I got tired, so I came in bed. I've been in bed for the past two hours, and we're just watching a movie. It's kind of like um Valentine's Day movie. It's called Love Jacked on Netflix, so I hope you put it, and that's what we're watching. Yisra is downstairs. I know you guys want to see her. She's cooking for us, which is we don't have any food in the house. You guys know that we went to Chinese restaurant to buy rice. So, <coughs> so she decided to cook. <coughs> Excuse me. To cook um, jollof rice and chicken for us, I, I'm sure. So that's what she's cooking. We're just here. Have is right here. And the kids are downstairs. They're so happy to see their sister. So they're just like catching up. 
while we are upstairs and my lip hurts so bad <sighs> it's even getting bigger anyway you guys um i'm gonna continue watching the movie and when the food is ready i'm gonna go eat because i'm hungry i'm literally starving and i'm rubbing my belly like because <sighs> my baby is hungry because my baby is hungry too anyway you guys um i just want to update you guys uh, what we're we doing okay. this is a rice use ramen for us i'm just eating in bed it's jollof rice and chicken. 